It's time for Six Figure Trucking Period 18. Let's look at my compensation as a W-2 company driver. First, we'll talk about my logs for the week. I was paid for 2,417 dispatched miles. I had 2,380 logged miles. My utilization this week was 87%. The days in green were days that I was on home time. My unedited pay statement for period 18 of 2024. This includes all trips from April 21st to April 27th. The only trip this week started and ended at the Fort Recovery Ohio Terminal. It had a plethora of stops that included one stop in Georgia, Duluth, four stops in Alabama, one Anta, Bastavia Hills, Montgomery, and Spanish Fort, two stops in Louisiana, Metairie and Opelousas, one stop in Tennessee, Crossville. It paid $1,729 for 2,417 miles. Empty miles paid $443. Securement paid $16. I was paid $300 for the insurance cash out. Loaded miles paid $1,110 and stops paid $160. Total earnings for this week was $2,029. We keep hearing that across the industry, drivers are getting less miles and making less money. I am one that believes in hard numbers rather than anecdotal information. Here's the comparison of my miles and compensation for the last four years. This looks at a comparison through week 18 of each year. 18 weeks into the year, my gross income is $38,867, and I've driven 49,917 miles. This averages out to $2,286 per week and 2,936 miles per week. Estimating that over a year, I am on track to earn $118,887 for 152,686 miles. Through week 18 of 2024, I have been loaded 93% of the miles and 16% have been hazmat placarded miles. This is a map of the miles per state, year to date, in which I have driven. This week, I did not add any additional states to the map. Here's the home time that I've taken this payroll year. This week, I had 66 hours of home time. Through week 18, I have been on home time seven times so far this year, totaling 24 days. I've also had nine paid 34-hour resets on the road. I am not paid hourly, but let's calculate like an hourly job. For the week, my gross pay was $2,029 for 53 hours of work. If we break it down into a typical hourly job, it could be 40 regular hours and 13 hours of overtime, resulting in an effective pay rate of $34.12 per hour. Straight hourly pay would be $38.30 per hour. Year to date, I've earned $35.34 for 973 hours worked. Out of those hours, 719 would be regular time and 254 overtime. If we calculate it weekly with overtime, the effective pay rate is about $35.34 per hour. However, as straight time, it's approximately $39.96 per hour. Taking a look at the if only truck drivers were paid for every hour in the truck calculation page, 18 weeks have went by so far that totals 3,024 hours. I have been at home 575 of those hours. That works out to 2,449 hours from the pre-trip, leaving home, to the post-trip, returning home. My compensation through week 18 is $38,867. That works out to $15.87 per hour away from home. As always, make sure you are enjoying every day at work.